Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm just gonna be teaching you guys how to play um, Late Bloomer by uh, the artist. That's the way you spell it is M E R E B A. Uh, I don't even know how you pronounce it. Mariba, Mereba. Um, I sounds. Um, they play really good songs um, and it sounds awesome. Um, but anyways, you're just gonna need your acoustic or you can play on the electric, whatever you have handy. It's gonna be the same chords. Um, matter the instrument as long as it's a guitar um and you're gonna need it on to standard tuning so e a d g b b and no capo so yep you're just gonna need standard tuning no capo and you're basically just gonna be putting your fingers on the second fret the whole song um and the strumming pattern is the same the whole song there's just some pauses um throughout the song like maybe like once or twice um before like a different part of the chorus or the verse um, but I'll let you guys know. Anyway, so let's get started. You're going to be just using the two chords, an A major chord and the D major 7. Um, super simple, pretty easy. Um, and I hope you really like to get the hang of this song. So you're going to need three fingers down for the A major. Uh, yeah, the A major. You're going to have a finger muting the top E string or the bottom one, however you like to reference your strings. And then keeping the A string open, and the last E string open, and putting three fingers down on, one finger on the D string, a finger on the G string, and a finger down on the B string. So like this, choo-choo. That's how it sounds. And then D major 7, um, you're going to put three fingers down again, or you can put one finger down and um whatever is more comfortable for you but you're gonna have to be uh, pressing down on three the bottom three strings the g b and e and then muting the top e and the a and keeping the d open and it sounds like this but i like to put my three fingers down on each so it's all on the second a uh, second fret so, um so on the G, B, and the E. And then keeping the D open up here. So I actually just move my three fingers from the A to the D. Major 7. Um, and those are the only two chords you're going to need for the whole song. Uh, the strumming pattern is just down, down, up, up, down, up. So it's six drums. You can also variate it um, by adding like an extra down strum if that makes it comfortable for you to play or easier to play um again these are this is just how i'm playing um so you start off like uh down, 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 and then keep going throughout the whole song but it's gonna be like a, you're gonna pick up the speed a little bit and have it like um going down Yeah, sometimes when you're playing really fast, it kind of like blends in the strumming pattern. You can kind of like confuse on, wait, am I strumming actually like the exact six strumming pattern? Am I going a little bit farther? Like, what am I doing? Um, just keep that in your head. Or, and I think it's easiest if you just like keep strumming, um, like keep going, you know, like whatever sounds best for you. Just keep going with that same strumming pattern in your head. And then if you vary it a little bit, it doesn't matter. You can get back to it. Or you can play it however you like. Um, but anyways, that's how I do it. Um, so you're playing that a six pattern, six drumming pattern, once for the A major seven, and then around three times for the D major seven. Uh, so that's gonna sound like just move. So. So yeah, that's how you play it. So you're doing um, more of that same six strumming pattern on the D major seven than the A major seven. Um, mm -hmm. And keep holding it for as long as you like. You're basically doing that pattern, that um, one 
strumming of the sixth pattern for A and then three for the D major seven. Um, and you're doing that one, two, three, four times for the intro. And she starts singing like, ooh, sorry, my, my, my voice. But she's doing like, ooh, that type of thing. Um, maybe like around the second time you do it. Um, and that's in the intro. So for the intro, you're just doing that A to D major seven um, four times. And while she's singing, ooh, it's kind of hard for me to, to, to do that as I'm strumming. Um, but the words is better. So then we get to the verse one. So she starts with A major seven. So you switch from a D major seven and it keeps the same strumming pattern that down, down, up, up down. Um, and uh, so you're still playing the D major seven longer than you would the A major. Um, but also it's uh, relative to like where you are in the song. But keep that in mind that usually we're still going with the playing D major 7 longer than the A. So, like, this, you can see that for the first one. It goes, he's a lay. So start with A, he's, and then switch to bloomer at D major 7 and keep playing that around three times as you're singing. So it's going to sound like... Sorry. Why did I say sorry? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Happy International Women's Day. Um, Cool. Hi. Oh, it's also my cat in the background, so sorry if you guys are, like, um, distracted a little bit. Here's your maid. Cheers. He's really cute. Okay, so it's gonna be... And so at, after B, you switch straight to A. D major seven. Taking his time. Um, and then you keep holding that and in the chorus. Um, so that's the end of the verse one, like and the uh, verse one, and then you keep holding D major seven, like and so she's saying, like the flowers growing, and then a flower, A major seven, flower. Is essential to the hour. He's taking his time. So that's how the chorus goes too. So basically you're just switching from A to D major seven throughout and you're still only strumming A major seven about one time, that six strumming pattern. Um, and then keeping the D major seven, that three strumming pattern, like that three times the six strumming pattern. Um, and you're just singing along with the song. Um, and so if you follow along with the tabs that I'm gonna put, you will see where I'm switching to. But, um, you can all see with my finger placement. Um, so then the chorus, yeah, at each flower, so you're keeping from the D major 7 from the verse 1. Uh, when it ends on the D major 7, you keep holding it, um, that same strumming pattern, and then switch at flower to A, and then as soon as flower ends, or maybe hold it a little bit, however you like to hear it, you switch to D major 7, um, and keep holding that like around three times until your hour, and then again hold the A for about one time, um, that six strumming pattern and then switch to D major seven and it does that throughout the whole chorus and you'll see it's that same like switching at A at each end of that of each sentence and then doing D major seven holding it until the end of the next sentence where you're doing A for a little bit and then again holding D major seven. Um, so that's how the chorus goes and the same strumming pattern throughout the whole song and then it goes again starts at A major seven same um, Around the, it's like different words this time, but um, same strumming pattern, same chords. So A major seven. She's a I 
then you keep holding D major 7. So at that one, you're doing, you're doing D major 7 in the middle of when you're singing started. So started and then switch at like star and then at tid, you're doing D major 7. A, a C, and then you're doing she proceeds to cut the leaves But she facing the sky um, So yeah, that's how the verse 2 goes You're doing A, she's I'm holding that for the one strum pattern D major 7, bloomer And keep holding that on three times And then at she could be at, at, Right after B, you're doing switching to A major 7 And then, but she's taking And, and D major 7, taking the time so at that one, you're just like maybe a little bit right before you, but right before, like right after she's, and right before ta taking her time, you're gonna be strumming D major seven. So, so just like taking your time. So you switch from A major seven to D major seven a little bit before she says taking her time, and then it goes first, and then A major first. She started a D major seven, a C, and she proceeds to cut the weeds and after weeds. You're doing A major 7, um, like right after, but she's facing the sky, so at facing, right at facing, D major 7. So I'm going to just hold it a little bit up, or I'll actually just tilt it down a little bit so you guys can see it better. Um, so then it goes into the last chorus, um, and you're holding basically holding D major 7 or this is where you can like pause a little bit um, um, before going into the next chorus um, yeah basically throughout this song I think there's like maybe one time where she pauses a little bit and then keeps playing but you can do that by ear um, but it sounds just the same on the song so and it goes you can highlight hold D major 7 um, after facing the sky, like the slowest growing flower, she's essential to your hour. Um, so there I switched, I actually did A a little bit before, um, and then at hour I switched like to D major 7, but it's however you want to play it and the tabs it switches right you keep holding d major seven until hour so that's at, and then at a so um in the last chorus it's exactly the same as we did in the, like the same way that we're playing a at the end like the last word of the the sentence and then keep holding d major seven until the next um last word of the next sentence and then switch to a for a little bit and then keep holding d major seven so yeah basically we're just doing that a for the six strumming pattern just once and then D major seven around three times um, or however is comfortable to you as you're switching. Um, and that's what we're doing. So then uh, we can start that again. So, uh, and then follow exactly the tabs. So it's D major seven. Like the slowest growing flower. holding the major seven sometimes i want to switch a little bit earlier um so she's essential to your hour she's taking her time and then the last two sentences after d major seven of time Um, mm -hmm. 
So you switch it to D major 7 our eyes, it's just a little bit, um, like, later. But it goes, cause late bloomers still are. So, yeah, again, I was gonna switch a little bit later. Cause late bloomers still are. Um, yeah, that's how the song goes. Hopefully you could see that's sure, like, when I'm switching. Um, but if not, follow along the chords and this video, and I hope that it finds you well. Um, thank you so much for coming today, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Um, take care, and stay safe. Bye.